Shut up and sit down. Hey folks, this is Tony Day. Today I'm going to show you a really cool solution to one of the problems I was having with uh, DaVinci Resolve and using color management. Um, and this is a really great solution. It's available in the DaVinci Resolve 17 public beta. I was trying to show people this during a live stream and I couldn't get it to work right, but I figured it out. So um, first thing I'll do is show you the project settings that I have and uh, show you the issue. So if you look here, I have uh, color management, which I recommend if you're not using color management workflows right now, I strongly, strongly recommend uh, at least looking into it. So in color management, basically what happens is all of your footage is transformed uh, under the hood, okay? Meaning you don't see the color space transforms or anything happening in node trees or whatever. So in this ACES transform, I'm, I have pocket 4K footage uh, that's, you know, all raw so it, I don't need to use an input transform here and I'm going into rec 709 okay the problem that I had with this as far as editing in the same project which is how I like to do everything so I have basically one project file with all my things in it is that I would have the grade and the grade would be fine right so here's my grade but then when I cut my footage into an edit timeline this would happen okay so what's happening is that this render, this is a uh, rendered version of the grade that I've done, it would basically get uh, run through the color management workflow and there's no way to really stop this without just turning off color management. But that's really annoying to have to, you know, save out an edit version of your file and then have a color grade version of your file and that kind of thing. I wanted everything to be kind of integrated so that it'd be easy to switch back and forth between my grading and my editing timelines, okay? So this is uh, the result. You know, one of the issues people had also was that uh, text would be run through color management. And this is all kind of a problem. So, uh, you know, it made it uh, annoying to work with. And this problem can exist if you have uh, certain footage that you, uh, let's say you're cutting into a timeline and you want to run all of it through a grade like this, except for certain um, pieces of footage, you would have to do a bunch of workarounds and it just sucked. So here's the cool thing that you can do. You can access this fix uh, here in the edit mode or you can do it in the color mode. It doesn't really matter. Um, but let's say that I want just specific files to bypass uh, color management, like let's say this one, okay? What I can do is I can right click it and I go up here to bypass color management. And when I do that, you can see what it's supposed to look like. Pretty cool, huh? So this is a great solution to the issue I was having before. So I'm gonna show you one of the issues that I had though using this method when you use text or something um, over the top. If I right click this one, hit bypass color management, it looks like it does nothing. But if I go over here with the playhead, it looks like it's working. Here, not working. The reason this happens is that for whatever reason, the way it's programmed currently will make text uh, kind of cause everything that's under it to be transformed too. So if I right click this text though, and I hit bypass color management, now it fixes itself. If I go to the other one, it's not working, right? So if you want everything, let's say this is an edit timeline where everything here is already color graded, it's all in Rec. 709, and all I'm doing is doing an edit uh, with this color graded footage. I can hit Control A to select everything, right click, and then go to Bypass Color Management. And now nothing is running through color management. Now, um, one thing to note is that if you want to, let's say, do a quick proof or just run this Rec. 709 footage into sRGB because you're, you know, doing your color management and you want to make sure it looks right on sRGB, you might think you're kind of stuck not being able to use this, right? You'll have to go back, render an sRGB version, and that's kind of annoying. So instead, what you can do is you can go into color here. You can hit Control A to all the clips in your sequence, right click, go to groups, and you can either add them to uh, a, a group that you want that you already have, or you can add into a new group. We'll call this ACES SRGB. Hit OK. 
now we can go into the group post clip mode here and we can add an aces transform that goes from rec 709 to srgb and now we have an srgb version so this is a fantastic way of doing the workflow that i wanted um, so i very much uh, uh, am happy that this is a, a thing now all right so that's all i had for this video if you have any comments questions concerns please leave them below please like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll catch you later